Hey Tolerinos, I know uh, I keep talking about Habitat for Humanity, but you know, I get good tools at a good price, so here's some more. I also really love it when I can find an awesome old toolbox. I've never heard of that company, I think it's IWY, I'm going to have to look that up, Allentown, Pennsylvania, and it was only $4. It's got the cool uh, extra strengthening in the corners, has a place to put a lock. The handles swing open. And uh, it's an awesome heavy duty old toolbox. Now, there's a designation here 20B-Y WT5. I'm not sure if that is relative to the actual box or if it's something that was painted on there by a user. But. Nothing inside. So let's see what I found. I got a cool old swing line staple gun. I will review the patent numbers on the bottom to see if I can figure out roughly what year this is from. I got a couple interesting old wooden handled screwdrivers. There's that one. And this one has an especially interesting looking ferrule. So, just thought I'd pick those up. And here for a dollar, push broom security brace. Um, it's really just adds some strength to your push broom so that uh, you don't snap the end of the handle off. Oh, and the uh, the screwdrivers were um, a quarter a piece. I got a spatula for $1.50. And it just says uh, stainless made in USA. But uh, check it out. You say, oh, it's just a spatula, right? Nope, it's a transformer. <laughs> Look at that. So if you need to pep, uh, flip a really big pancake, or burger, it expands to whatever size you need. <laughs> anyway, it's a bit of fun. And next up is another old clipper. Uh, it was a buck. Has some handle embellishments. I kind of like how the, uh, the lock feature is on the back to hold it shut. It says nine and a half inside the handle. It has the original nut and adjuster on the side, and it even has a side cutter. So I thought those were kind of cool. Hopefully I'll find something else about them when I clean off the rust. Maybe it'll say something else. I found this neat old Champion spark plug wrench. I mean, it's super thin. Not high quality, it's just stamped steel, but I thought it was really cool. Dependable spark plugs, champion. Oh, 7 8 and 13 16 Carboloy feels like it's a sharpening stone. And if I recall, it uh, was it the drill bits or something relative to that Speedwell tool? Uh, or carboloy. I don't know, maybe my memory is not correct. I'll have to check that. Uh, in inexpensive little pair of uh, diagonal cutters. Probably foreign made, I'm not sure. Um, Leo, get your tail out of the view. So these looked interesting. You could tell somebody used them a lot and they wrapped the handles with some sort of old electrical tape. And it says uh, Cleveland. I'm not sure what else it says there. Maybe I could tell looking at the computer screen, but without cleaning it. Looks like it was made in Cleveland, which would be awesome. And certainly coming from the same uh, place are these very well worn and used Red Devil uh, sort of pliers. I'm, I believe this is for glass work. Um, they're very loose, but you know that would ensure that when you squeeze it together that the jaws come together parallel without uh, 
loading the glass, you know, asymmetrically, so maybe it's good to be that way. Here it says tested. On the other side, something New York. Samco? I don't know. I'll check it out. Storage hook. A very soft brass bristled brush. Made in USA. Hang on, I gotta take that sticker off. It was only 20 cents. It says Empire Suede Brush USA. Interesting. And I got a nut splitter. And it's kind of interesting because it's got a little bit of a, a bent to it, but it does work. So I'm assuming it's designed that way. KD number 715 with a patent number. So I'll look up that patent. You know, it's dirty, but it works. So there you go. Another inexpensive tool haul from Habitat for Humanity with some real gems. <laughs> uh, I'd say my favorite thing is the toolbox itself, which always seems to be very reasonably priced when I find them at Habitat for Humanity. So, huzzah! Hey, Torinos. Look at this contraption. Somebody has taken what must have been a John Deere lawn tractor. They put the steering flipped around onto the front and they mounted a generator on the chassis in the middle. And then in the back, there is a Sears Craftsman power drill belted up to the transaxle. Maybe this side will show up better. There's a Sears Craftsman power drill belted up to the transaxle to power it. I assume powering the drill with the generator so that you can move it and steer it while it's running. Amazing. That's uh, proof positive. Necessity is the mother of invention.